Welcome back. So for anyone who's been playing the game, well obviously you're probably here because you do play the game, but for those who are at least keeping up with the game, sometimes we get distant counter refines and more often than not, we worry about their quality because IS has shown that they really value distant counter built into the weapon so they don't really overload the PRF, let alone even give like many effects. Like the first patch that we had, we literally had like a slaying edge with plus four attack speed defense res and that was literally the DC refine for like three of those units. But nevertheless, I find it that it's really interesting that they don't really overload these PRFs, especially nowadays when we get a bunch of effects at minimum, even for like the three and four stars, as we even just got like Ritker's Refine and that has like four good effects in it, like damage reduction, dual phase flashing blade. No, not even flashing blade, dual phase breath, 10 attack speed and slang. Like that's a lot more than we would have gotten from like a Ragnar Refine, which we did. And to be fair, that was a year later, but assuming we, it kept up with the trend nowadays where we got a DC refine, it probably wouldn't have been nearly as close to the quality of a Rutger's refine. But nevertheless, I find that IS does value Distant Counter to a great extent, built into the weapon at least, which is why not only were they so hesitant to give out tier 4 Distant Counter skills for so long, but when we got these refines, they were just really lacking in substance. Outside of maybe Ryoma, who has no follow-up built into their weapon, so they kind of cheat there, but for the most part, most of the distant counter weapons that we got refines for really didn't have anything going for them, as far as I remember. Like, you could point out maybe some exceptions, but outside of, like, maybe Canagus, who was just recent, and the Beast, we didn't really get much. But even so, I do want to talk about how they could potentially make distant counter weapons more appealing, especially if they want to limit the amount of effects that these weapons get, as... If they're going to limit it, either they need to come out with like one or two effects that they put onto the weapon that's, you know, one stat boost and then one really good effect, or they need to make better A slots in my opinion. And that's what I want to talk about for this video. So we may as well just get started with it. I know I was already ranting about the refines, but I feel like it's less about the refines to an extent and more about the value of DC nowadays because prior to saves, Disc Encounter was pretty much a necessity because you needed it for Omni tanking. But nowadays you can pretty much just bring any ranged tank that's an armor, they can tank all the ranged foes. And you can bring a melee armor that can tank all the melee foes. You don't really need Distant Counter unless you just want to have some of your armors perform as far saves. And that's pretty much the extent of it outside of maybe like Vantage, and that's literally it. You can still run Distant Counter units for sure, but I find that you're not going to get as much mileage as you would out of maybe a near save or a far save. Because they have way better coverage and just do what they need to do as opposed to the Omni Taker who may not be able to tank some units because they just don't have the stats or skills for it. And as a result, I find that Distant Counter has just lost so much value nowadays. And if they do want to keep up with the trend of like really mediocre or like really tame Distant Counter refines, then they need to give them their own niche so they can subsequently get more value over time. Because we are getting Brave Dimitri's refine, supposedly we are getting Brave Dimitri's refine next month if the schedule lines up. And I am kind of worried about how it's going to get treated, mainly because the past has shown that they really go tame with these refines. And again, we did get Kanegus who got a really, really good distant counter weapon, but I don't know if that was necessarily because he's a beast or because he's an armor or because it's conditional distant counter or whatever the case may be. It's definitely that outlier case that I feel definitely needs more evaluation. And we're going to pretty much get that next month when they give out the next distant counter refine again supposedly however if they do really really want to keep it tame i do think they need to come out with better a slots however not just better a slots i don't want to see like a slots that are like oh if you have a yen fei you built up a yen fei and Rutger just got this refund i know i keep going back to Rutger, but he's like the recent example of like really good sword refund i don't want to see something like dual phase flashing breath on an a slot for yen fei as well as like 10 attack speed, I want to see something that allows them to stand out with more unique effects that can't be replicated without giving up the A slot. So rather than trying to mimic refines, I think maybe if they were to go down the route of maybe like unities, finish, stance, so on and so forth, then I could see distant counter weapons gaining more value over the course of Fey. Mainly because you can't use these effects outside of like maybe one or two exceptions if they're like built into the super premium unit. Mainly you would have to give up your A slot to run this skill. And to be fair, unities are still pretty decent. However, it also relies on like debuffs and yada yada yada, and that's not always guaranteed because at the very worst, it's just going to be like a two-space bond, which whatever. But finish is probably one of the best recent examples we got because not only does it grant plus seven to its respective stats, it gives you five true damage on the special, 
and it heals for 7 HP after you trigger that special, which means you're getting three effects in one. And I feel like this is kind of the route they just have to keep going down if they really, really want to give more value to distant counter units. And then of course you also have like some older exceptions like stance threes, stance fours, like the, the mixed stances and yada yada yada, the ones that basically inflict guard on the foe during combat. Those still have a good amount of value, mainly because of the fact that there aren't any guard seals. However, it is worth noting that we do have crafty fighters, so for armors in particular, it's not going to be as coveted, because they can still run crafty and get the guard effect. But nevertheless, for units that aren't armors and basically don't cheat like that, I think if they were to come out with a lot better A slots, that would only give them the ability to run it consistently, then I can see them raising in value. Just really really high however we do have to bring up the elephant in the room and that's dragons because now they have the distant counter seal to work with meaning that even if they have all these brand new flashy a skills every dragon can still run the distant counter seal and then run their prf meaning that the dragons with distant counter prfs are probably going to be left in the dust as a result however for those in particular it does come with a sacred seal cost to be fair so like you can't necessarily run steady breath or warning breath in your sacred seal mainly because you would be giving it up for the distant counter seal but still i feel like if they were to do it for all the distant counter units then dragons will probably need a bit more work mainly because again distant counter seal so if they came out with more competitive sacred seals although this is probably on the lesser scale of priority to me then i can see that helping them out but my main priority is definitely the A slot because I think that's where they need it the most. Especially since we have these power crept distant counter skills. You know, distant storm, distant stance. Well, not necessarily distant pressure, but distant dart. The ones that grant additional stats and distant counter. So even if they're still getting quote unquote less stats from the A slot than they would be from the distant counter weapon, more often than not, they probably have a way better PRF so they can subsidize the amount of stats that they would be losing otherwise with a more competitive weapon. But even then, I still find that saves really just do muddy distant counter units because of just the overlap and Omni taking is just really, really difficult to do nowadays. Bulwark skills do help because it not only has the like super obstruct, but it also debuffs and heals after combat. So if you were to pair that with finish, for example, you would get 14 HP per combat. Assuming that you only trigger your special once, if you trigger it twice, it's 21. But even then, you're still giving up your B-slot for what could have otherwise been damage reduction, no follow-up, so on and so forth. It's not the worst, per se, but only certain units can really run this effectively. So like Winter Altina is like one of the best examples for this, because even though she still has a distant counter weapon, she has dual phase break, meaning that she could still attack twice no matter what. And she does have really good mixed bulk and twin blade, so her damage output and tanking prowess is pretty good. Especially nowadays, even though she came in back in 2020, she's still a really, really good unit. Even that aside, I still think that we could get better DC refines instead of just over glorified slaying edges. And I know I said earlier it's that it is less about the refine and more about the value of distant counter nowadays. However, I do think they go hand in hand because modern PRFs that don't have distant counter in their weapon tend to have like four or five effects in their weapon. And if you have a distant counter weapon, it mainly has like one or two, depending. One of those usually being like distant counter itself. So I do think that if they are going to improve A slots, they should at least also improve the quality of distant counter refines. Because it generally feels like they're always playing catch up to their contemporaries who could just run distant counter in the A slot or even dragons in the S slot. Granted, some of these units do cheat. Like Black Knight does cheat because he can just be used as near save, and even though you're subsidizing the distant counter effect because he'd be using near save, he still has slaying and black luna with spectrum four. And honestly, if it weren't for black luna, I don't think black knight would be nearly as good as he is. But even then, you still have Arden, who's just a way better near save unit because he's way more min max and has way better effects. But that aside, I do think they should start improving distant counter refines. And I'm hopeful that when Brave Dimitri does get his refine, they're not just going to slap on, oh, we upgraded Mistletane effect to breath and plus four stats to everything. And that's about it. Because I want to see more from these weapons. I don't want to see it like crazy, crazy power creep, obviously. But I want it to be at least quote unquote balanced enough. I know balance isn't like the right word for this, but I do want to see some form of attempt of just giving these units a solid ability to at least compete nowadays. Granted, you can still use units like Yenfei, but if you were to use something like any other modern sortie with more effects and then just a distant counter A slot, chances are it's just going to be performing way, way better. And that's just kind of my problem with it. Even modern releases with distant counter weapons like Priam just get shafted like crazy because his weapon is literally just like 
distant counter with like minus six attack in defense. So he, it's like, wow, what what a, what a gen six refine. So you know what? I want to see where IS goes from here with this because I do think there is potential. But at the same time, I am worried that they still value distant counter to like a significant degree. Because to be fair, it is a good effect, but it just depends on like who it's on. Because you can't really Omni take as easily nowadays. So like if you're using it on Omni takers, best of luck there. I can see it working for like far saves, obviously, because we have Ascended Fiorum. But outside of that, Vantage and that's about it. So yeah, I'm hopeful that maybe they'll do something in the future to improve it. But I'm also skeptical because of their past with DC refunds. But you have to let me know what you think down below about the state of distant counter units and distant counter refunds. Are there some that you generally use that... You still think hold up even to this day? Do you want to see better treatment of these refines? Do you think they're fine as is? Let me know down below. And until next time, I'll see you later.